a real lady would not be hitting chest. I look insane right now. Holy, oh shit. I feel like I'm like, am I the rock yet? I know y'all see that. <laughs> You already saw the title. If you know how to read, you know what this video is about. If you're a woman, you should not be hitting chest. Just saying. And I wrote down reasons as to why you should not be hitting chest as a woman. And here are your reasons. In my personal opinion, I think all those reasons are valid. Number four was actually my favorite. That one, I really like number four. Oh, and hello, welcome back to Time with Tally, or welcome to Time with Tally if you've never been on my channel before. My name is Tally and I do lifestyle and fitness content. Today I'm taking y'all with me for my chest and back day. Probably one of my favorites. This is episode four of the Workout With Me series. We have one episode left. I'm so thankful for you guys to be joining me for this ride. It has been a whirlwind. I have had so much fun and I hope you guys have too. Without further ado, I already took my pre-workout and my creatine. Let's get into it. I think it is so obvious that I had a cold. Like my congestion is so obvious. So the flat bench was taken over there. So I'm just gonna do decline, incline, and probably some flat for chest today. I like to start out with a flat bench, but I'm okay with decline for today. Me feeling already a little bit weak from having a cold might actually help with starting with decline. It'll make my confidence go up. <laughs> the hell is in my mouth that I don't want to be in my mouth? Oh my god, I gotta stop. Okay, I got. Haribo's Happy Cherries today. I already stretched out. I warmed up my lats and my shoulders, my rear delts. Let's get it. These pants keep on falling under my waist. Someone's gonna get a nice view of my ass crack. <coughs> let's, get, let's go up. My regular friends aren't here, so I'm gonna have to make a new gym friend today to help me spot later. Someone to hold me close. I always think I'm gonna throw up when I get on these things. Is it going upside down? There's a guy in here, bro. His quads are massive. I'm so jealous. That's crazy. Come on, stop being a bitch. I don't know if this is gonna stay anyways, but I don't like when my back starts to stick to the bench. I feel like it messes up my range of motion, so. It's probably crazy. I get scared because like, I've done this before, but anytime I go 135 and up, I'm like, ah, I need somebody next to me. I don't trust myself. But I've been able to do this one fairly easily. Fairly. Fairly. Easily in the past. I probably wouldn't need a spot, but I'm so scared. I got a spot. Ah! Okay, I'll go for it. Without a spot. Crazy. Oh my god. Y'all gonna witness me kill myself. I might look scary, but I'm a I'm a wussy. Let's go. When I say I'm petrified, I'm so try though. This would be a PR for me. Top I've ever hit with this is 160. I don't even want to say what this is because I don't want to psych myself up, but I think I only added 2.5s to it, so it's, yeah, 165. Um, I might shit myself with fucking nose. On three, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I thought I almost had it really hot. <laughs> I, think I, I think I can, though, that's the thing. Ah! Thank you. I'm gonna go for 160 then. I'm gonna go down. I don't know. Why did we feel like I had that? I might try again. I might try again. I might try again. <laughs> Very proud. You know how, no matter how crazy that was, I literally feel like I have adrenaline running through me right now. Me PR, y'all. I'm gonna go back down and I'm gonna wrap it out. This. <laughs> Excuse me. I gotta say something really quick. I got in one of my previous videos a comment, you know, related to showing you guys how to do certain workouts and whatnot. I will say, my channel is not necessarily for how to, but like, 
educational purposes when it comes to like working out and stuff. I am not a personal trainer. I am not a physical therapist. I'm not anybody that's a professional slash educated on these topics. I've done my own research and stuff and I can go based off of what I know. But like I always say, I will never educate you guys on something that I am not a professional in. Yeah, no, I would always say refer to professionals. Do what is best for you. Formulate your workout plan and program to what you need. This is just what works for me, you know? My hair is getting frizzy. If y'all ever see somebody online that says that women should not hit chest, it's up to you to believe them. I think it's a bunch of baloney. A lot of women are always so worried about like looking so manly and so masculine and being shaped like a man. Muscles are not just for men. If that's what you're worried about, I love everybody. You're all welcome here. Here, we're not scared to grow some muscle. So it was a worry of mine for quite a while because naturally I have a pretty big upper body, but seeing how strong I am and the capabilities of my body has definitely been more of a win than being worried about what I look like and how men perceive me. Nobody's opinion on my body really matters. Life is way too short to be worried about anybody's opinions. But I will say this, ever since I started bulking, obviously like I'm close to finishing my bulk. I've always had very saggy breastlessness. Especially like when you lose fat, of course, your body kind of chooses where you lose fat and obviously your breast can be one of them, one of the areas. But since I started hitting chest and bulking up those areas, I've noticed that they've gotten a little bit perkier. That's crazy. Oh my God, stop it. Can't kind of grow your titties by hitting chest. One thing I will never be scared of in the gym is making an ugly face. Okay, right, so this machine, it doesn't have those things that you can actually start it closer. So let's just hope I don't pull out a rotator cuff or something, you know? So we be off my feet. I need a hero. So this is how we're gonna do this. To keep myself safe, get my body as close to it. Ow. Or hit my head on it. That's fine. One thirty, one forty. Shut up. I look insane right now. Holy. My face looked like I almost had Jesus. That's right. Glory to God. Oh, I'm so mad. That was at least 10 cents. <laughs> Just get it. Let's go hit some back now, y'all. Still felt a little light. Like we're gonna go for 90. I got a hangnail I wanna bite so bad, but my hands have been on too much stuff with bacteria, so. I'm gonna see if I can get one of those shots that people get like on Instagram reels. We'll see if we can see the wings. Stupid pole. I should have gone on it a long time ago. I'd be making better money. Who needs Red Bull? Let's see if you guys can see anything. Doubt it, except these chichos. <laughs> Q. 
kiki 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 in my outfit I get off. Of course I didn't. So I actually like to end this particular set actually with single rows. Like I like to kneel and do one of these. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Y'all remember when I said on my arm day? So you know how a lot of people they'll hit shoulders, they'll do a real depth, they'll do their real can't say that way. They'll do their rear delts with their shoulder workout. I personally actually like it my back day. That's what I'm kind of doing right now, my rear delts. So so you do whatever you want. I hope this video makes y'all feel empowered, especially as women. It's sexy to be strong. There's nothing wrong with it. All right, y'all, so that was my chest and back day. I am exhausted, <laughs> but honestly, like I got a crazy pump, so I'm very, very happy right now. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed that day. I hope you continue to work out with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I'm so thankful for every single one of you guys that are here. God bless, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Son casting para los que